what's up? Okay, um, I'm gonna start from uh, like a little Japanese class. Uh, how many of you here for the first time in Japan? Okay, like 30%, 40%. Uh, ohayo gozaimasu. It's good morning, ohayo. Uh, kanpai! <laughs> and cheers. Uh, blockchain means blockchain. <laughs> yeah. Ethereum. Ethereum. You got it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna start. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna talk about like about um, Japanese ecosystem, Japanese Ethereum ecosystem uh, since we're in Japan and um, I'm going to talk about a little bit of a history of it, and then how far we've been, you know, uh, growing or coming uh, so far. Uh, so this is me. Uh, my name is Yusuke Obinata. Uh, people call me Obi, like Obi Wan Kenobi uh, from Star Wars. Um, I co-founded Ethereum Japan community about like two years ago, and then also uh, organized several. Uh, that meetups and then also organized a conference called Not Tokyo and then I'm starting a new company uh, called East Note right now. Um, so before uh, getting into the like, uh, ecosystem stuff, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the like, prehistory of Japanese Ethereum slash developer ecosystem. So um, before like I think mean, like January 2018, like Japan was all about you know investor speculation. So um, I would say there was like, a big new economic bubble for like you know uh, investing in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or investing in ICOs. And there was almost no like uh, like a developer community or activities. So there was even like uh, you know uh, like an idol group called Cryptocurrency Girls. And then they did this like two singles. Uh, one is called My Name is Blockchain. So if you're interested, <laughs> just check it out. <laughs> and this is the girl representing Ethereum. And this is the anime girl also representing Ethereum. So, well, so it's been all fun, but uh, you know, we wanted to change a little bit to more focusing on like, uh, you know, developers. So uh, we started uh, the Japan community, and then um, in March 2018, we had like a first big uh, event. Um, so we organized uh, uh, this meetup at the University of uh, Tokyo, and then uh, we brought speakers like uh, Vitalik, Aya, Joseph Kuhn, Crow, uh, and then uh, people from these uh, projects. Yeah, this is the Vitalik speaking, and this is me, I was way skinnier back then. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is a whole crowd, uh, we got like around 500 people, uh, we got a lot of like a Japanese media, uh, newspaper companies, and, and then yeah, uh, that was a great kickstart of the I think, uh, Japanese uh, Ethereum community. So since then, uh, oh yeah, on the next day we also had like an ECF uh, launch event. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk about like what's been happening after this like a big meetup meet up in Japan. So starting from developers, startups. So there's been like a lot of like uh, grassroots uh, activities going on. So uh, uh, there's an Ethereum developer community called High Ether, uh, organizing uh, Ethereum developers conference called HiCon uh, from last year. And they're gonna do it again, I think, November. And then uh, there's like a, more like a student, young people focused community that I that I started called Crypto Age. And then there's been like a monthly, very hardcore um, uh, blockchain meetups going on called like uh, Blockchain Tokyo. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of pictures. Uh, yeah, we got have like so like a solidity meet, solidity workshops. We have like uh, several like weekend hackathons for students. So um, I think since then we have at least like two or three uh, developer meetups or any like activities activities in uh, months. And then dozens of like international projects visited uh, in Tokyo. 
uh, and some guy uh, from crypto economics lab, like Transit and Plasma, white paper, and then uh, a lot of developers were getting excited about Plasma. And yeah, this is the uh, very fun like, crypto kitties meetup. We have a lot of, uh, uh, actually most of them are like, uh, the real uh, the players, the real users of the crypto keys. So that was really fun. And we have like, these meetups like DAPs, uh, builder meetups. And for the last years, uh, that fun in Prague, even though that was super far from Tokyo, we have like, I think, about, about 15, uh, 20 uh, students and developers from Tokyo. And uh, just how, like, uh, uh, this is the conference I've like, organized. It's the first uh, like developer focus blockchain conference in Japan. We have like uh, uh, 500 attendees, most of them are developers. Um, and this is the EdCon uh, this year happening in April in Sydney. And I think this is the first big like international Ethereum conference that has like. Japanese developers uh, from like uh, Leia X and crypto economic staff, both of them will be presenting at DevCon later. And uh, not only just like, you know, uh, growing the existing blockchain developers, we also like try to bring more new like uh, developers outside of blockchain space into uh, uh, into blockchain. So, uh, Quantstam, us, and the Neutrino, Hash have uh, co organized together the hackathon called Decrypt. And we have like these around 500 uh, very new um, uh, developers into blockchain, like learning about blockchain and then building something on the weekend. And towards uh, this year's DevCon, uh, so Ethereum Japan community has been organizing meetups called uh, Road to DevCon. Uh, we have like four meetups in the past uh, four months, and I think in total over 200 people joined. Uh, when, she, when Aya was in town back in uh, August, she was also speaking at the meetup. And yeah, that's how we've been preparing for uh, DevCon. Um, and then this is the like a very short list, not the exclu ex exclusive list, but uh, I created back in June. Uh, and then I have updated a little bit more. So this is the, like within like four or five months, they have, we have like more and more like uh, you know uh, active uh, players uh, in the in the space. Like, there's a lot of startups and uh, co-working spaces. Uh, or like uh, educational centers uh, for developers, also like for corporate people to learn about blockchain. Uh, there's like a, a very good like a blockchain specific media. Uh, one of them is here called New Economy. So if you're interested in Japanese market, or if you, if you if you hope to get interview, just talk to guy, talk to this guy. And uh, we have also like a more and more like consulting focused uh, companies uh, uh, trying to like educate big enterprises and then build something together. Um, yeah. Okay, so enterprises. Uh, this is also the list like I created back in June. Uh, so we have a lot of like, you know, uh, big tech giants. I've been studying crypto exchanges like Yahoo Japan, Rakuten, Line, uh, uh, SBI and stuff. And also we have a lot of like non-tech traditional companies uh, started building uh, some uh, projects using blockchain. Um, um, and then some of the you know, traditional uh, media companies like Nikkei or Dentsu uh, or Yahoo Japan. Uh, uh, started um, uh, more uh, blockchain specific media or like putting more focus on blockchain. And companies like Recruit, Nomura, the, the biggest investment bank in Japan, uh, and also SBI have been investing uh, a lot in uh, blockchain startup globally. Uh, some of them invest directly in tokens. Uh, 
Uh, and then uh, Ethereum uh, Enterprise Ethereum Alliance just got a, you know I uh, uh, as the uh, uh, chairman of the, uh, of the, the alliance, and then uh, these I think five or uh, like six companies uh, from Japan have been uh, alliance, including the KDDI, one of the biggest telco telco company, and then MTD Data uh, and Nomura Research Institute and Fujitsu. And uh, I think one interesting thing started happening in Japan uh, is that uh, like, like startup, blockchain startups that I just introduced have been in like a, a kind of like a background of those like a big enterprises and helping them to adopt uh, Ethereum or blockchain technology. So like LayerX has partnered out with uh, Microsoft Japan um, to support uh, big enterprises. Uh, to learn about blockchain and then uh, help them like actually to block something a little bit, and actually Microsoft Japan is being a very big supporter for Ethereum in Japan. They have been uh, creating a lot of localized resources for uh, Ethereum developers in Japanese. Uh, another example is that I like, Crypto Economics Lab um, uh, has partnered up with one of the biggest uh, energy companies. Chubu uh, Electric Power to test out like a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, trading of the uh, uh, surplus like solar energy. Um, I think that these like uh, actual example with the uh, one of the biggest company traditional companies uh, is like, something that's not still happening in like, most of the most of the places in the world. And especially like uh, like energy sectors uh, have been, I think, one of the most world-thinking, uh, aggressive uh, traditional industry towards uh, blockchain. Okay, the last thing is about students or young people. So, um, so April last year, um, um, I have organized the first like, blockchain meetups for students in Japan. I wanted to like really focus on like young people is because when I first got into Ethereum space, uh, I noticed like most of the people driving this uh, ecosystem in the world was actually like, very young people. So I wanted to like uh, encourage uh, young people in Japan uh, to know about blockchain and uh, I was hoping some of them, you know, starting their own project or like, you know, uh, uh, de developing open source uh, project together with the uh, people uh, around the world. So uh, this meetup was very successful. We have like around like 150 people, uh, all students join with us. Uh, and after that, um, some of the students in top uh, universities created uh, like a blockchain research groups, kind of like a blockchain at Berkeley. Uh, I think the two biggest one is like uh, Big Bears from Waseda University and then uh, Big Penguins from University of Tokyo. And uh, this year is like the Ethereum Industry Summit in Hong Kong. Uh, some of some students from those groups uh, have been to Hong Kong to join the conference. And uh, I think that this was one of the biggest uh, event we did with the uh, young people last summer. Uh, we had like Aya uh, spoke uh, in front of uh, people only under 25 years old. And she talked about what is Ethereum, how, like, what is Ethereum Foundation doing. And, and uh, what's funny was like after this event, Aya uh, talked to me like, she was kind of um, disapp disappointed about Japanese uh, community or market uh, because she used to be at the uh, she used to be the head of the crack in Japan and she was mostly just interacting with the uh, regulators or just old people in the industry. But uh, this was almost like her first time to actually interact with the uh, very young people who were passionate about blockchain and then. After the event, she said like uh, she started, uh, you know, uh, having uh, a hope for Japanese uh, ecosystem again. Um, yeah, so I think without like these 
like a young people, like a young community in Japan, I think uh, the step on in Osaka wouldn't happen. And uh, you know, having this like very iconic uh, event in blockchain industry in Japan was like one of my you know, very ambitious goal when I started doing like dev meetups about two years ago. So I'm very happy to see everyone here today. Uh, thank you so much for coming to Tokyo. And I uh, think, yeah, that's the uh, end of the presentation. But uh, uh, what I want to emphasize is like, um, I really hope, I like, wish like a lot of you will come back again to Japan and then, uh, you know, collaborate with the uh, local teams and then, um, yeah, and then enjoy great food and a great karaoke time. Thank you very much. <laughs>